Okay, that was not what I expected. Um, it's gonna kind of... Hi everyone, my name is Hannah. I have a channel here on YouTube and I make beauty, lifestyle, travel videos. I'm super excited to be working with Glowish today to be trying out a product that I'm so stoked about. I have really, really dry skin. It's always dry regardless of the season. And I also recently discovered the importance of wearing sunscreen, which I never ever wore before. But after learning how damaging the sun can be to your skin, I really wanted to incorporate sunscreen into my skincare routine add it on and see all the benefits from it. Okay, so the product we are going to be trying out in this video is called the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. It's SPF 40. It says it's clean chemical sunscreen actives for all skin types, a natural finish, water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes, oil-free and non-comedogenic. It's invisible, weightless, scentless, and makeup gripping daily primer with SPF 40. Skincare concerns that it treats are fine lines and wrinkles, pores and dullness and uneven texture and the formulation is gel. I do have uneven skin texture and a little bit of redness. The red algae helps protect against blue light emitted through electronic devices. That is super interesting because I hear a lot about blue light, but I don't know much about it. Yeah, so this product is vegan, cruelty-free, reef safe, and gluten-free, which is all super, super important. I love that. Here is the sunscreen. It's very little. Here it is compared to my hand. So far, I don't smell anything, so that's super awesome. Okay, that was not what I expected. I expected it to be more of a body lotion or be thicker, but it's really clear. Like it kind of looks like water. So yeah, it's completely transparent. It looks pretty thin, like it's kind of dripping already. So it's definitely not a very thick consistency. Completely just melted into my skin. So it's not only supposed to be makeup safe, but it's supposed to help your foundation and all your makeup stay and last longer. Super awesome. It kind of looks like a hair serum, like a oil that you would apply. <laughs> okay, so my first instinct is it kind of feels like I'm taking some sort of a oil or a butter and just applying it on my face. So I definitely think that the consistency of it is less like a moisturizer and more like an oil. Although it says it's oil free, so I'm interested to see how it's going to kind of set in and dry into my face. Wow, it kind of dried instantly. Like my skin just like absorbed it right up. It's super oily, like it really feels like I'm a roll and I'm just buttering it up. But as you rub it into your skin, it kind of just sinks in and now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's no greasy residue or any white cast or anything like that. Like it kind of just looks like I didn't put anything on. It feels moisturized, but not greasy at all. Over the next two weeks, as I try out this product, it's going to be a little bit interesting because this is something that isn't gonna have visible dramatic results. Sunscreen, sun damage, it's more of a long-term effect. So yeah, I am excited to try out this product and see how it works for me. So it has been a couple of days since I first tried out the product, but I haven't tried it with a face full of makeup yet. So that's what we're gonna be trying out today. It's still so weird, the initial application because it feels like butter. There's no other way I can describe it, but it feels like if you got melted butter and then you rubbed it all over your face, which sounds really unappealing. But then after like 30 seconds, it just disappears into your skin. See now, I can't feel it anymore. It's insane. Usually when I wear makeup, I don't wear face makeup. For the sake of this video, we're going to do that. So I have the Glossier Skin Tint. I just kind of draw it all over my face. That went on like a little less smooth than normal because there's a layer of other stuff on my skin, but I don't think it's visibly noticeable or anything. All right, I am back. Makeup is done. No problems as expected, but I will check back a little later today and we can talk about the state of my makeup. Okay, so it has been a full day wearing the makeup and the sunscreen. So far, the only thing I really have to say is that I noticed my mascara has just 
run all over the place. Like if I close my eye, it's on top of my eyelids, underneath my eye pretty bad. And that never really happened. So I wanna say that it's just the mascara. I don't really have that problem, not this bad anyway. So I wonder if just because I applied kind of all over that it made it a little more slippery. I feel like my makeup has lasted all day pretty good. Yeah. This was the little makeup update. Hello everyone, it is day seven, so it has been a full week of using the Super Goops sunscreen. I'm here to kind of do a full one week update. I have a lot of zits, so like I have one right here and a couple on my nose, but I don't believe that it's from the sunscreen. Let's see what some of the reviews say and we can kind of discuss if they're accurate or not. One of the best sunscreens I've ever used. I can't say that I've tried many sunscreens before made for my face, but I can definitely agree with these positive reviews. Somebody said, excellent product, way too expensive. I do think that $34 for a little tube like this is pricey. So yeah, I didn't really see any written negative reviews. They were all pretty positive. I suppose the only negative thing was the price. A week of using it, I've been really liking it. I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to make a quick update about any changes I've seen in my skin and honestly, I haven't seen any. It hasn't irritated my skin or negatively affected it at all. Like I said, I can't really speak on the positive effects. I know it's working, but I can't see any visible changes or anything. I definitely think that's a good sign that it hasn't made me break out or have any irritation at all. All right, everyone, we have finally come to an end. It is the last day of review for the Unseen Sunscreen. So it's been two full weeks of using this product. Okay, so overall, I haven't seen any negative changes in my skin. It hasn't broke me out or anything. It does feel oily to put on initially, but after a few seconds, it just sets into your skin and then your skin is your normal texture. See, now it's completely melted into my skin. If I were to rate this on a scale of one to five stars, I would give it five stars. It's been such a wonderful product to use. It really is so inconspicuous. I don't know if that's like the right word, but you put it on super quick. In 10 seconds, it just melts into your skin and it's not, a, not even noticeable anymore. It's really an unseen sunscreen. Like you put it on and you don't even have to think about it anymore. It doesn't feel like a heavy, lotion-y, creamy sunscreen. It feels more like a gel that you just apply, maybe like a serum, and then it just kind of blends into your skin. If it's worth the hype, I definitely think so. If I were to buy this with my own money, I think it was 30 something dollars, I definitely would. I think it's worth it because even though it is a small bottle, you get a lot of product out of it because you only use a little dollop every time. So. so I definitely would recommend this product. Really, I think it would work for any sort of skin type. Even if you have oily skin and you're worried about putting a sunscreen on, it really doesn't feel greasy at all. It just completely like vanishes into your skin. Yeah, that was my review of this product. I really truly did enjoy it. That is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.